Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Case Breaks dot com with twenty one twenty two tops UEFA for Champions League uh, soccer. It's Merlin tops. It's actually it's tops Merlin Chrome UEFA for Champions League soccer full case. Pick your team number nine from Jaspi's Case Breaks dot com. All card ship. And then there is a seventeen team combo that includes this these teams right here. It's a total so eighteen. You'll see it. Well, I'll show you right now. 18 teams. New toner. Let's go, new toner. So 18 teams are sold outright, and 17 teams were in that big combo that you saw on the list right there. If you missed out on the first time, we've got a uh, another case of Merlin Chrome loaded up on jaspyscasebreaks.com. Great time to collect soccer with the World Cup coming up. There you go. There's kind of an awkward case there. All right. Merlin, one chrome auto per box on average, ladies and gentlemen, on average. I think every box should have an auto. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Now, we were talking about the, uh, the World Cup venues just before we started this video. I didn't realize that they were, they were selected already. Can you believe the World Cup's going to happen in a couple months? Now for the 2026 World Cup, I didn't realize that the venues were already uh, were already set. Yeah, so Diego saying New York, Dallas, Miami, LA, San Francisco, Houston, Seattle, Boston, Seattle, Atlanta, Philly, KC, and Boston. What were the other cities in? Uh, those are the cities in the Estados Unidos. So there's. Oh, Vancouver, Seattle, on June 16th, 2022. I didn't realize this went under my radar. Host cities were announced by FIFA, separated into three geographical divisions. Vancouver, Seattle, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Guadalajara in the Western Division. Kansas City, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Monterey, New Mex uh, and Mexico City in the Central Division. And Toronto, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Miami in the Eastern Division. Two in Canada, three in Mexico, and 11 in the United States. None of the stadiums used in the 1994 World Cup be used in this tournament, by the way. And the Azteca is the only stadium being used in this tournament that it has, was used in 1970, 1986 World Cups. But no word on, on what the, where the final is going to be.
All right, interesting. Yeah, if the... Uh, now, what I was saying before the video, there's going to be a boost in interest in soccer. And, and in the secondary market as well. And, um, man, if there's going to be a boost this year, there's definitely going to be a boost in four years. Especially if you get some of, like, these youngsters, these rookies here. And there's Joe Rodon uh, for Tottenham. That'll be for Andrew. You know, if they're good enough, they're, they'll most likely be on their national teams. You know, so they may be youngsters now. But if they become stars by the time the next World Cup rolls around, it'd be a good time to hold and sell. There's Marcus Rashford to 225. Man United. That's going to be for Robert. Won that team in the filler. There's Jude Bellingham. That England Germany friendly recently was was uh, was pretty fun. Mason Mount, fourteen out of fifty for Chelsea. That's for Robert. All card chip, of course. Jude Bellingham goes to also goes to Robert. That refractor going to Dortmund. Not his rookie card, but I feel like he's a pretty good player. All card ship. And we've got Vanderson from Monaco. 83 out of 199. That's a uh, different Robert. Robert Montgomery with AS Monaco. Robert Runkle is the other Robert in this one. All right, box one in the books. All right, next box. Diego saying uh, the fam and I are actually planning on going home to Guadalajara for it. Nothing like going to a Mexico soccer stadium. That sounds cool. Only downside is the whole era of some players right, are playing their last ones. In four years, right. I don't think we're going to see... This might be Lionel Messi's last World Cup cycle, right? Probably Cristiano Ronaldo's last World Cup. I'm sure there's some other names, some other bigger names out there, too. Yeah, definitely have to save up to watch some World Cup games. Maybe, I, maybe definitely the one in, the one in L.A., Should we uh, should we should we tag along? No, I think Diego's Guadalajara. <laughs> I hope we're we're a Chivas family here, Diego. Jason Jaspi, should we go with Diego? to Guadalajara and watch a World Cup match in four years? There you go. Diego is full-blooded Chivas. Jaspies is a is a Chivas family here. All right, we got Aster Vrencek, ninety five out of ninety nine. That is for Wolfsburg, which I think is part of that big seventeen team combo. 
You know what? I should have put that on the list here. Sorry, hang on. Stand by. Hmm. Wasting ink already. We got an autograph here. We got Zidane Iqbal for Man United. That'll be for Robert R. Robert Runkle. Vijay Dua. Yeah. You want to go too? We can should we take a Jaspi trip to Guadalajara? We can stay at I don't know, Diego seems like he has family there. Maybe we can go crash at their place. I'm sure hotel prices will be insane. Even for Mexico. There's Jean Pacheco for Real Sociedad. Two thirty out of two hundred fifty. That's part of the 17 team combo. That's for Robert Runkle. There's a uh, Lionel Messi. Prophecy fulfilled. Will PSG win? A, uh, a Champions League, that's one of their big goals. There's Ansu Fati for Barcelona. That'll be for to 150. That'll be for Robert Runkle. PSG is Andrew, by the way. We'll get that Lionel Messi insert. So there's the 17 team combo right here. Hmm. You're gonna teach me how to flush a toilet with a bucket of water? All right, we'll learn things. All right, next box. I know this is a Champions League product, but it's hard not to talk about the uh, the Mundial when there's been so many when we've been on an international break. A lot of friendlies happening over the last over the weekend. I think for almost for most countries, I think this will be the last uh, last of their last tune-up games before before they go back to their respective club teams and play all those matches and then uh, and then in a couple months World Cup I think Thanksgiving Day uh, Thanksgiving Day around Thanksgiving Thanksgiving for us not for most of the world um, Thanksgiving will be when the first is that's when the first game will be No, maybe a little bit. I don't know. When does Thanksgiving fall this year? It falls on the 24th, Thursday, 24th. So match one, I think, is November 20th. So that's Sunday. So the week of Thanksgiving. So by the end of Thanksgiving... By the end of Thanksgiving, we may have most of the group stages done, actually, which is kind of crazy to think about because the group stages wrap. No, the group stages go at least group A group stages might be done because they're starting first. 
But the last, last group stage, Group H, their last match is the latest one, December 2nd. Saturday, Friday, December 2nd. There's Astor Vrancheck again for Wolfsberg. That's a 75. Wolfsberg? I think something like that. It's more like a V, right? Ws are more like Vs in German. Um, that's be that's going to be part of the 17 team combo. There's Zidane Iqbal, rookie refractor for Man United. And it's going to be for Robert. And more for Robert Runkle. Paul Pogba, 14 out of 99. There's Latan Ibrahimovic. And there's Joshua Kimmich, 97 out of 199. I think got a bit of a knock in this match, but I'm sure in the uh, England-Germany friendly, he should be fine. And there's Brendan Rodgers. No, not the Rockies baseball player, Brendan Rodgers. Rockies infielder, I think, Brendan Rodgers. This is boss Brendan Rodgers for Leicester City. 40 out of 99, the coach. The boss, El Jefe. That's going to go to uh, Kevin. We got Lester in the filler. And they've been struggling a little bit. They got to. They got to get their act together. All right, and then Diego. And yeah, I, I see it too. The, the knockout stages start on the third, and the final is on December eighteenth. All right, should we get thoughts from people? Group A is the host, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. Who advances out of that group? Top two in each group advance. Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and the Netherlands. I could see Senegal. I think Netherlands probably wins that group, right? Senegal second, maybe? I want to say Senegal won the Africa Cup of Nations in January earlier this year with Sadio Mane. Both Kevins are saying, Kevin M, Kevin C are saying Netherlands and Senegal. All right, looks like we're on the same page. All right. Uh, Spago says, Cutter will cheat their way to advancing. Yeah, never count out a host nation, right? And the Netherlands. It's true. Yeah, South Africa made that run. Even Russia had a decent run when uh, when they hosted it, which is why I think we'll make a decent run in four years. Now, speaking of which, Group B. England, Iran... United States, Wales. Yeah, and, and also, yeah, Spagu is like, hey, I just hope it's good. That's all I really want. That's got to be England, United States, right? Oh, Wales and England, says Diego. No, the last, that friendly we had earlier today didn't, didn't look very good. I'm hoping England and the USA. Although I feel like we'll get knocked out pretty quickly depending on how the bracket lands up. But I think, I think in, in four years is really what we're waiting for. Home soil should be pretty good. We'll have years to talk about this, but I'm, pre I th I'm pretty sure that the North American World Cup is when they're expanding it to like 72 teams. All right. We'll, we'll, next box, we'll talk about the next group. Is it expanding to 72 for the World Cup here in North America? 
192 at 275, Malo Gusto. It's a rookie card for Lyon. That's going to go to the combo team, Robert Runkle. And we got Joe Rodon for Tottenham. It's going to go to Andrew. Oh, group A and B play each other. Winner of A1 versus B2 is what I would imagine. There's Matthias Tell to 150 for Stade Rene. That's going to go to Anthony Liu. Was it, uh, who was saying earlier? Was that, uh, Vijay, I think, was saying that Vijay opened a random box of some Topps Chrome Champions League and ended up with a Lukaku Super Fracture, which is pretty cool. There's Gavi, rookie refractor for Barcelona. Robert Runkel with Barca. 48 teams total in 2026. There's Benjamin Sesco, Salzburg, to 275. I don't know. Sometimes there's some there's some uh, there's some sort of soft uh, early group action. Can't imagine adding teams. Although, yeah, Norway should make it. We'll we'll see. Erlen Holland. They better make it if it expands to that many teams. All right, uh, let's move on to Group C. Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Who advances? That's a tough group from Mexico. Uh, I think it's got to be... That's got to be Argentina, Poland, right? Yeah, Kevin Spagu saying Argentina, Poland. Most likely in that order, right? Argentina should top that group. Although, I don't know, it could go either way. Lewandowski's on that Polish team. They're pretty good. Um, group D, France, Australia, Denmark, Tunisia. That's got to be France, Denmark, I would say, in that order, I think. I mean, France is one of the favorites. Yeah, France, Denmark what we're thinking we got Alfonso Davies for Bayern Munich to 199 that'll be for Robert Runkel and the autograph is for Napoli Khalidu Koulibaly for Napoli that goes to the 17 team combo picked up by Robert Runkel We got Ray and Shirky for Lyon. 32 out of 50, also for the combo.
there's Maxence Cacaret for also for Olympique Lyon. 218 out of 225. Part of the combo group. Dodgers at Padres on the background, tied at two, bottom of the eighth. All right, a little hydration, sixth box. About halfway through this break. Probably have about another 35 or so minutes to go. I think we're right on schedule. How are, is anything else going to be full after this? That quick hit mixer should go. That last filler is down to eight spots. We got time to do it. It'll most likely be our last break of the night. I don't think the other baseball spots haven't moved at all, so I guess everyone's in a football mood. If you want to get that locked in, let's make it happen. All right, next group. Group E, Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, Japan. That's Spain, Germany, right? Maybe Germany, maybe probably Germany first. Germany, Spain. I'm not sure if I really see Costa Rica or Japan surprising anybody. Well, I guess there's always a surprise. Spaguse in Spain, Japan. I feel like there's always a big club somewhere that stumbles and messes up and never gets out of the group. And I guess Spagu is going to say it's going to be Germany. Diego saying Germany, Japan. No, it's a good gut feeling because, I, like I said, I feel like there's always, you can't always go chalk. You know, there was a year that, I mean, there was, a, there was a, Italy missed a World Cup. You know, so like strange things can happen. All right, what about Group F? Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. That's a tough one. Croatia is always a tough team. Canada look, has looked really good in in Concacaf qualifying. Albeit that's against Concacaf teams, but everyone's thinking Belgium, Croatia. I wonder if the Canadians can make a little noise here. Maybe Croatia starts to look old. There's a rookie refractor, Carmoco Dembele for Celtic. That's part of the combo. Robert Runkel. Ooh, nice Lionel Messi Mojo refractor for Paris Saint Germain. PSG. Andrew. 45 out of 99. And some more color here. It's color autograph. Connor Bradley for Liverpool. Liverpool, 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 Liverpool. That goes to Rick Thomas, 19 out of 25. Nice, nice rookie auto. And we've got Giannis Hagi to 250. That's for Rangers. It should be for the uh, combo. Right, and there's Rangers right there, the Scottish club. They have the famous rivalry with Celtic. The, the old firm. Could get, could get real violent at times. There's Robert Lewandowski for Bayern Munich. Still Bayern Munich edition here to 50. That'll be for Robert Runkel. There's 
some more Sala. And Luka Modric. All right, halfway through this full case break. Brian Vormberg, what's going on? Group G. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. I feel like Brazil is the obvious Group G winner, but is the Group G runner-up, is that as obvious? Between Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon? Spagu says, Spago, Spagu, I like Spagu, <laughs> says Brian. Brian H. says uh, Switzerland. Kevin C. says Cameroon. Brazil, Cameroon. Brian V. says Switzerland is decent. I could see the Swiss surprising. Maybe moving on to the group stages. Next box, good luck. Cole Palmer from Man City, rookie refractor. We got we got we've been seeing a lot of this kid right here, Aster Vranchek to 75, rookie blue. And Nuno Mendes for PSG. Uh, for Andrew. Uh, Felix Afea Gayan, rookie refractor. And then we got some green right here for Barcelona. Ebde, uh, Ezel. Zuli, Ezel Zuli, to 99. Barcelona, that'll be for Robert Runkle. Wait, we haven't even got to Group H yet, Brian. I want to hear those thoughts first. There's Timo Werner. To 199 for Chelsea. Robert Runkel has Chelsea. All right, the last group that we haven't gotten to Group H Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay. In South Korea. That's a tough group for South Korea, I think. They've got a couple good individual players, but I'm not sure if they really come together as a as a team. It's Portugal, Ghana's pretty good, aren't they? It's got to be Portugal, Uruguay, right? Yeah, that's what Diego, Kevin, Brian V. There looks like Portugal, Uruguay. Kevin, I'm thinking South Korea, Portugal. I mean, if Hyunmin Son go uh, go goes nuts, starts banging in goals left and right, that's a possibility.
David Barrow saying Portugal all the way. That'll bring us to the round of 16. Quarterfinals, semifinals on December 13th and 14th, and the final on the 18th of December. Crazy, uh, crazy winter World Cup. Although it'll probably still look like summer in, uh, in Qatar. All right, so as of... September 26th, as of yesterday, here are your odds, according to VegasInsider.com. I think the odds are provided by Caesars? MGM? So your World Cup winner odds, Brazil plus 450, France plus 600, England plus 700, Argentina plus 700, that's about 7 to 1, Spain plus 800, 8 to 1, Germany... 10 to 1, Portugal 12 to 1, Netherlands plus 1200, 12 to 1, Belgium plus 1400, and jumps a little bit from to Denmark plus 2800, jumps again to Croatia plus 5000. So we're really looking at your out, your favorites Brazil, France, England, Argentina, Spain. And even Spain are slightly long shots. Think in Argent England to win it all. 7 to 1 Kevin M Diego in Argentina or England both 7 to 1 teams Jude Bellingham's going to blow up during the World Cup does that, does that increase his transfer value there's Timothy uh, Weah for Lille that's for Jacob and the autograph is for Leicester this Hamza Chaudhry That's for uh, Kevin. Kevin C. and Lester. Two Lester autographs for the team you won in the uh, in that random. Now, if you're if you're betting. I feel like you got to go a little. Uh, you got to go a little value play, right? There's Giovanni Reina to two twenty five for Borussia Dortmund. That'll be for Robert Runkle. And I feel like you kind of have to go in the. You can't go Denmark twenty eight to one. That's a little too much. But I feel like if you want to be spicy, you got to go maybe around the ten to one to to fourteen, fifteen to one teams. That's Germany. 10 to 1 plus 1,000. Portugal plus 1,200. Netherlands plus 1,200. Belgium plus 1,400. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I might, I kind of do like Portugal at plus 1,200. That doesn't sound too crazy. Portugal lifting the Jules Rimet. Remember when that trophy was stolen? Spagu likes the likes France at plus six hundred. Twenty seven to twenty seven out of fifty Giovanni Reina for Borussia Dortmund, and that's Victor uh, Osimen, seventeen out of one fifty for Napoli. Right, and they've got they also have Diogo Jota who's on a. Who's on Liverpool? They also have another youngster, Zhao Felish. So they've got like a crew of some young players surrounding Cristiano Ronaldo. Maybe Argentina, 701. That's. Or a 7 to 1, that is. It's plus 700. It's hard to go some of the longer teams, right? Denmark 28 to 1, Croatia 50 to 1, Uruguay 50 to 1, Senegal 66 to 1. No, oh, yeah, you can't can't go too high like that, but I mean, it most likely it's going to be Brazil, France, England, Argentina, somewhere around there. If you want to get a little spicy, 
Germany, Portugal, Netherlands, Belgium could be interesting choices. Dave Vero said, hey, we, we won the Euro a few years back. That's right. Portugal's not in the group of deaths here. Better chance to make it. Diego is asking, uh, yeah, there's always that one, one team that makes a run, like Croatia. It's always that surprise team. Diego is asking World Cup goal scores. Top goal scorers, Harry Kane, 7 to 1, Mbappe, 9 to 1, Karim Benzema, 12 to 1, Cristiano Ronaldo, 16 to 1, Lionel Messi, 16 to 1, Neymar, 20 to 1, Memphis Depay, 20 to 1, Lukaku, 20 to 1, Diago Jota, 33 to 1, Jesus, 33 to 1, Vinicius, 33 to 1, this one's a little more difficult. I feel like there's a lot of Brazilians kind of in the top, like 15. Name, like I feel like they'll cannibalize each other's goals, right? Though that that's not kind of outright. Now Harry Kane might make sense if you think. If you think that they're gonna, that England's gonna go deep into the, into the uh, the group stages, there's Jan Oblak to 275, and your autograph is Ianacho for Leicester City. Another one for Kevin and Leicester. 65 and a 99. I want to say that that. There's always like some random striker for a team that doesn't even make it out of the group, but the, like that dude is like the only dude that scores for that international team. So he'll end up with like nine goals or something crazy like that in the group stages. Or maybe group stages in one like knockout stage. And their team will lose like four to three. And they'll get knocked out in the round of 16. But then he ends up winning the golden boot. There's Pats and Daka, 55 out of 99, Leicester City. It's another one for the Foxes, Leicester City. I think England will play very hard here. Very hard defenses, David Barrows. There's Neymar right there and Messi. Yeah, I mean, England was just penalty shootouts away from winning the, the Euros, so I think the expectations for them are pretty uh, are pretty high. There's Lukaku, just 275. Ooh, have, have I even said, in all the breaks that I've done, have we seen any train whistles at all? Maybe one, like an out of five? I definitely have not. I don't think I've seen a super factor. I feel like I would have remembered that, even with my poor memory. No, not at all, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, Poland's in. Poland, as a national team, usually are pretty strong. Uh, according to the same website, VegasInsider.com, we were talking about group stages earlier just for... Uh, just for your information. Group A favorites are uh, Netherlands minus 250 and Senegal plus 450. In group B, England are the heavy favorites to win the group, minus 300. USA plus 550, Wales plus 600. Group C, Argentina the favorites to win the group, minus 250. Poland right behind them, plus 450. Mexico a little bit closer than I thought, plus 500. 
Group D, France minus 250, Denmark plus 300, then it jumps to Australia 10 to 1 and Tunisia 14 to 1. Group E, Spain minus 120, Germany plus, two, uh, plus 120, and then it jumps to Japan 10 to 1 and Costa Rica 33 to 1. Group F, Belgium is minus 188, Croatia plus 250, then Morocco 10 to 1, and Canada is 12 to 1. Hmm. Mr. Eagle was saying they're 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 young, but they didn't they're good but young. Maybe that experience factor. But they're behind Morocco? Maybe I'm maybe I'm just underrating the Moroccan team. Group G, Brazil's minus 225, Switzerland is plus 450, Serbia's a little bit behind them, plus 550. Group H, Portugal is minus 163, Uruguay is plus 200, 2 to 1, and then it jumps to Ghana and South Korea, both 12 to 1. Ooh, nice, Trey Turner. All right, there's Josip Sanasic. Four out of 99 for Byron Munchen. Goes to Robert Ronkel. The rookie refractor, Angel Gomez for Lille. That's for Jacob. And nice Ansu Fati autograph for Barcelona. Robert Ronkel with Barca. Won him in the filler. 55 out of 99. That is not. How old is he? I mean, he's only. He's 19. He turns 20 at the end of October. He'll be 20 by the time the World Cup starts. But if Spain does well, he'll be one of the one of the reasons why for sure. There he is again, refractor. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, it's on the back of the card. Wait, no, it doesn't say. It's on the back of this card. He may not make the team, is that right? I feel like that'd be a little bit of a surprise. 002 out of 225. Rain Gravenbirch. It's for Ajax. He didn't get a call up during the break. Interesting. Is he fit? Or maybe he's already going to be on the team, so they want to look at it. Look at other people. That's interesting, though. Eight out of fifteen, pretty low number here. There's Nicolo Barella for Inter Milan. Is that part of the? That's part of the seventeen team combo. You would think they would just take them. I guess I guess they do have a lot of a lot of uh, scorers, huh? But at, you wouldn't you almost take them just for if only for the experience? Just to give him, just to give him the taste of the World Cup. But I guess it, I mean, if he's only twenty, and... hmm. Kevin's saying he's not a regular at Barca just yet, just due to all those injuries. Kid's been through a lot at young age.
Ooh, yeah, we haven't seen that yet, right? Is that that thick card right down here? Yeah, that's it. Should I do it here or should I do it after this box? Should we save it till the very end? Yeah, Diego says milk it, save it to the end. Spagu says save it to the end. Well, I'll save it to the end if there's no other objections. There's Yogo Jota to 250. It's only one more box. There's John Pacheco for Real Sociedad, rookie refractor. Diogo Jota for Liverpool. Rick T, it's 250. We got Sonny Perkins, Western United, 150. Jacob with the hammers. And there's your renaissance, Mason Mount. Did he score a goal against Germany? That's a, uh, that's a case hit, that's a one per case. And that is for Chelsea. Robert Runkel. Wow, this box had the Renaissance and the Match Ball autograph. He did. He did have a goal. Nice. That's Sergio Ramos, 66 out of 275. What a throw. Dodgers down a run, top of the ninth in San Diego. They got runners on first and third. Max Bunty up to bat, two outs, one and one to count. Wow. Wild pitch from Josh Hader. Trey Turner comes home to score. Tied. All right. 
Last box, one autograph in here, and then the match ball autograph. Those are one per case as well. On average, I would, I would guess. We got Miguel Gutierrez for Real Madrid. That's going to go to Robert Runkle, rookie refractor. And Skoka for Atletico Madrid to 225. That's for Brian. Heyman, and we got for Man United, Anthony Alanga, under 23 stars, rookie autograph for Man United, Robert. Seventy four out of ninety nine. Nicola Barella for Inter. 107 out of 150. There's Leslie, you for Renee. There's Conte. 120 out of 199 for Chelsea. Rookie Refractor for Man United, Charlie Savage. And good luck, everybody. We have uh, Lotaro Martinez for Inter Milan. And that is part of the 17-team combo going to Robert Runkle. Bought that straight up. This might be a little more comfortable in a slider box, actually. And these are really nice. There you go, Robert. Quick little autograph recap and the Renaissance insert and some other lower numbered cards. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We got another case loaded up in the store right now. Check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll be happy to break some more so soccer with you and chat some more soccer once UEFA Champions League starts ramping back up again. We'll have some more Champions League stuff, stuff to talk about during a Champions League break. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.